It's <laughs> uh, Thank you for the work. Uh, this, uh, this presentation will describe the structure and the results of the first Iconet International Workshop that took place in July in Lisbon at Ishpeta. The workshop suggests a new, a new pedagogical framework based on the necessity to introduce new architectural curricula in academic and new digital strategies to approach technology, implement digital thinking, and foster cooperative interdisciplinary environments and digital processes. This presentation is divided in two parts. First, I will talk about uh, the Wiconet uh, Lisbon workshop structure, and after, the Wiconet Lisbon workshop final results. The Wiconet Lisbon workshop topic was contemporary living patterns in mass housing in Europe. Mass housing in Europe has been studied for a long period because it has been a solution to democratize the access to dwellings for a large number of people. In its weird origins, mass housing represents, represented an innovative solution to respond to housing needs of population in the last, in the last decades. However, mass housing solution problems now began to decline. This type of housing became a place associated with uniformity, repetition, and anonymity. On the other hand, informal mass housing, self-built housing, brings about more diversity and bigger sense of appropriation and unification of dwellers with the living place. In this context, the work carried out in workshop focused on two neighborhoods in Lisbon. One representative of formal mass housing, Hotel Secretary, and the other on Bagda, other one uh, on Bagda Liberdad, which is a typical of informal mass housing. These two places offered, offered the opportunity to rethink the contemporary living patterns in mass housing design. Today, you who should uh, look at this form of housing formal and informal, in order to understand the way people live. The main goal of the Lisbon workshop was to develop a cross-disciplinary dialogue aimed at finding answers for, and for the meaning, way, and for the contemporary living patterns of mass housing in Europe. 50s, 50 students from 15 European schools of architecture were challenged to, de to develop an evolving housing design based on the customized prefabricated wood panels that can be used to readapt pre existing dwellings to contemporary living patterns and to produce new incremental homes as a response to contemporary living patterns. Eight student groups discussed, designed and fabricated and assembled a full-scale prototype. Teachers from OICONET organizations participated actively in all the design strategies, discussion, presentation and fabrication process. As Vitruvius, Roman architect remained reminded us, Architecture is fundamentally concerned with three core activities, thinking, designing, and building. This relationship has played a vital role on the development of all areas through uh, architectural history. But in the beginning of the 21st century, these matters assume new shapes. They, they, the addition of multidisciplinary approach and use of a computer as part of everyday life of architects transform the creative process. In this context, the Lisbon workshop was organized to explore four main topics of design process. Participatory design, home and living conditions, energy efficiency and materials, and digital fabrication. 
Because the authority design plays a key role uh, in today's democratic societies. Moreover, the investments of digital digi design methods and production technologies are contributing to the emergency of new housing paradigms. We are witnessing a renewed interest in prefabrication, generally with cons construction that is based on customization. This also applies to the production of housing. Digital innovation is also redefining the relation between design and production. The use of CAD-CAM technologies can help address the current concerns with social needs and and uh, sustainable in our industrialized world. The six-day workshop was organized to experiment and demonstrate how new digital processes can introduce similar solutions to create pre-extensive dwellings to contemporary patterns. The program of Lisbon workshop was divided in four parts keynote speakers and the introductor, introductory thematic lectures and presentations, field work, thematic studies, and design studio. The thematic, uh, the thematic lecture, introductory uh, lectures, uh, we have four introductory lectures, all of the students to acquire basic knowledge about various subjects that were used and incorporated in the final group solution bought by, by, by uh, in the design studio. The first lecture was about the participative process, uh, focused on the key role that participatory design plays in today's democratic societies. Over the past decade, the wide variety of techniques and tools have been deployed in participatory design. This approach is based on the democratic concept of involving people in the decision-making making process by allowing them to take design to solutions, decisions. The second lecture, Home and Social Exchange, uh, was an overview to the historical societal turning points of recent Portuguese history. It was possible to characterize the Lisbon metropolitan area and uh, was a brief resume of the evolution of housing in the Lisbon metropolitan area with sociological implications. The third lecture, the lecture Energy and Computer Construction Materials, was an introdu introduction to life cycle principles which were presented together with a brief overview of methodologies for life cycle, cycle assessments. The last lecture, Contemporary Computational Design, CAD CAM Tools, uh, was an overview about uh, the new challenge of 21st century digital evolution, an introduction to digital manufacturing process and available fabrication technologies. The studio, the, st uh, the thematic studios, uh, were, was a theoretical practical framework where students work in groups to develop specific exercise in the participative process in the home social uh, in Portela studio, energy construction materials, and computational design. <coughs> the design studio challenge the students in groups to develop an evolving housing design using customized prefabricated uh, wood panels to readapt the craziest dwellings to contemporary living patterns and to produce new incremental building homes as a response to today's living conditions. From eight groups of students, four groups design a solution to readapt the, typo the typologies of back the hotela and the, the other four worked in a readaption re of one house and the patio in the back of the river. 
to te teach methodologies enable the students to accomplish the learning outcomes associated to participatory design, participatory design process and fabrication of a full-scale prototype based on sustainable poverty housing design. The students were asked to design dwelling types in relation to groups of future users and present, present users, and determine whether they could adapt their proposal to suit several specific situations. The study was a place for, for students to apply a diversity of methods and design strategies to design a solution economically and socially sustainable. Students use CAD-CAM technologies to design and fabricate a customized solution. The teachers from OpenNet organizations follow the work of the students' group supervising the solutions. The OpenNet Lisbon workshop final results. The first group of Sport the Portela Adaptable Living. The goal of Portela Adaptable Living project was to adapt the departments of Bairro Portela according to the needs of nowadays contemporary living families, based on the development of a flexible apartments and common sleep public space on each floor, and this way attract young people and new families. Students consider social issues as a challenge in social structure for innovative new solutions. The flexible housing will have different mixed age users to expand or shrink the link space according to their progress needs. The flexibility is achieved by altering the physical composition of the building. Thus, people apply to both internal and external changes on the building. The need of flexible housing is a current topic in architecture. The architecture history has several wonderful examples of flexible housing. Nevertheless, the introduction, the introduction of CAD CAM technologies in the everyday life of the people transformed again flexibility as an important, important topic. Thus, choosing this topic for the project is very applicable and contemporary. In Portela SI box was intended to adapt the apartments of Vida Portela according to the needs of the nowadays contemporary families, based on the concept of co-housing. The proposal is based on the development of a common space space public public space that will improve the added inhabitants' social life. The concept of common public space and common multi-dysfunctional areas, community gardens, community kitchens, make obvious, obvious the necessity of this simple collective public and sleep public space in nowadays. The design strategy explores the social sustainability by giving the growers some control of the major decisions in the different stages of the community social life. The third example was the, was the Portela Contemporary Solution for Modern Design. This design proposal was to adapt the department of Bible Portela according to Demographic, new demographic problems of the neighborhood. The group decides to clean all floor from the non-structural walls and introduce an intervention of dwellings according to the proposal, proposed typologies. The solution is based on open building principle that was explored by Abraham and Sar research group in Netherlands. The group designed a variety of housing typologies founded on the clean analysis of socio-demographic statistics presented in the Sandra March Prada Lecture and Studio and in the modality of the prefabricated system.
dissolution in one floor and one family. The objective was to adapt apartments of Portela according to the needs of, of the contemporary families based on two concepts. One floor, one family, and building yourself. <coughs> the group designed a flexible design system to, that generates several solutions to readapt the present typologies to needs of present and future inhabitants. This group explored the capacity of care camp technologies to all the users to personalize the housing solution over time based on the family composition. The full scale prototype is a very good example, example of a prefabricated system adaption, adoption to the proposed readapted readaption of present housing technologies. The group discussed all the ideas in the design studio and achieve a very good response to the goal of the, of the workshop. In the Liberdad neighborhood, the first, the first group, the goal was to readapt the, uh, the Liberdad patio according to the local user uh, needs based on the three case studies, house, house for a family, house for whole lady, a social com and a social common space. The proposal design solution are a consequence of a, a dialogue with all local users of a patio and the, the morphology analysis of the current space. Despite the complexity of the problem, the group was focused and suggested a multifunctional common space regarding the needs of local users. The full scale prototype is a very good example of a prefabricated system application to the local users. The roof box project was, a re was to readapt the Libertad house according to basic living conditions. Students had to propose a solution to solve a real problem the lack of an extra bed bedroom to a family. But they realized some other transformations are, were necessary. The, breath, the bedroom is moved backwards, uh, backwards and the actual employment workplace of the birth to all replacing, replacing the entrance door. The staircase is reversed to assess the new external purpose. Then the wood structure is fixed on the actual terrace and supports the unripe room. The structure that supports the room can be used and to hang it up close to dry inside a house. A part of the kitchen wall will be removed and to the open space. Despite the complexity of this problem, the group deposed an interesting solution and he designed the prefabricated pool panels to adapt the normal system to real scenario. The Garden Heaven project was to readapt the Liberdad patio to the local users' needs, improve the house basic living conditions, and create a rest area, a garden area. The design solution are a consequence of a dialogue with the local users of the patio. Of the, patio. the group was a focus more proposal to the steel rest area, garden area, for the patio local users. The use of the model system as the exterior garden area is very interesting because it takes in concern the profile needs of local users. The last project was house run. The students proposed a solution, again, to a real problem. Design an extra room for a child, and also keeping the terrace and find a low-cost low solution that could be achieved for the family living in the house. Design solution was consequence, again, uh, from the dialogue of the family living that lives in the house.
Google Trends. The results presented in this paper showed how a multidisciplinary approach towards a significant implication to the field of architecture and design education. The results have demonstrated the growing impact of digital design media as a mediator between content and skill. The main goal was, has been to explore new digital technologies and their contribution to solve some of the challenges present to social society and architecture. Social responsibility requires great sensitivity to innovation, and this must encompass school culture. Architecture schools around the world are creating digital fabrication libraries to provide their students with skills, support, new learning process, scientific innovation, and develop a linked to architectural practice. Digital fabrication library supports innovation through the materialization of ideas. Digital technologies have realized a released a multiplicity of new career opportunities for graduated and licensed the architectural education. In my opinion, the adopted uh, methodology allowed the students in six days to use, use informed and conditional design strategies based on the theoretical concepts of design, seeking, and digital process of <coughs> design making. Students explore the benefits and the companies of building with social, economical, and time constraints. In addition, the workshop for work uh, we've got four topics, all of the students to work with global perspective, integration, inclusion, and diversity. The cooperation design promotes the flexible awareness about design by doing methods. Thank you. Thanks. 